I just put like crinkled up contacts in my eye, like you know when it's the edges are frayed. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I don't feel like getting new contacts. But anyways, I want to talk about self care today, right? I realized that like in South Asian households, Asian American households, immigrant households, it's so taboo to be taking care of yourself and to do self care. And I remember just working and working i still work and work i don't rest and in high school i remember just working on my laptop and like the second that i would stop working my mom would come into the room and she would just call me lazy and assume that i didn't work that whole time so after a while i just got conditioned into pretending like i was doing work so it seemed like i was a hard worker in front of her eyes but this is so common for brown people or people of color to just work and work and not take a rest and just recently I realized that my form of self-care only started after I moved out but also my form of self-care has to also be active so I can't just like sit and do a face mask you know as nice as that sounds I can't do that because I can't sit still my form of self-care is like going for a walk or doing art while watching a movie or reading while taking a bath and it just has to be active you know I feel like my form of self-care has to feel like I'm still being productive because that's just ingrained in us and it's so hard for me to learn that because you know I really beat myself up when I'm not being productive or I'm not getting my to-do list done and I think that's just like a South Asian thing but today I really wanted to just indulge in some of the nice things also another thing is I don't like spending money on myself at all. I've never spent money on myself for things that I actually need or want. But when it comes to someone that I love or care about, I spend money like quick. Like, you know, I have a list of things that they need. I buy it before they even ask for it or even talk about it. And it's just crazy how we feel like we're not deserving of that same energy, but we are willing to give it to someone else, you know? Today I have a whole list of things that I want to do. And the first thing that I want to talk about is I'm getting my eyelashes uplifted <laughs> uplifted i'm getting my eyelashes lifted and tinted for the first time ever like i said i don't like spending money on myself and even this was such a big purchase for me that's why i never get my nails done so i'm doing that for the first time ever and it's such a big deal for me i'm super excited to bring you guys along with me i got my coffee but it's not really coffee it's just like milk and creamer at this point i'm gonna go grocery shopping right now I'm gonna be really quick because I have my eyelash appointment at 12. It's currently 10.47. I just recorded a episode on this for my podcast, Difficult Dish, if you wanna to listen to this. It's probably up by now. You know the one thing that I don't like multitasking on? What? When I watch my shows. So, for example, I love my Grey's Anatomy, I love my One Tree Hill. Dripped out in my clothing. I feel so freaking cool right now. Labyrinthab.com. All right, now here I go for my walk. So I got a few things. I'm gonna rush, so I'll show you really quickly. So first, I got my facial pads. I use this every single night for my toner. Then I got some hummus, some good old hummus, you know. I actually didn't get too many groceries because I have some in the fridge. I also got avocado guac. I usually get avocados and just cut it up and make guac myself because that's so much better. But I guess it's not avocado season anymore. That's so freaking messed up. So I had to get this. And then I got pumice to clean my feet. I would never ever get this in a million years. Anything for myself I would never get. And they have to like lock this away. It's like you're not allowed to take it without a key. Why is this like so special? It was only like $3. Then I got some good old eggs. I got nail polish for the first time ever. Orly nail polish, purple, my favorite color. My nails are really long for the first time ever. I usually bite my nails. But I decided to indulge on some $9 nail polish. It's the first ever nail polish I have in my apartment. It's crazy. We're doing, we're making so many moves today. I got my toner. This is what I use every single night. And that's it. Now we're gonna go to my eyelash appointment.
things. So that's why it kind of looks like a sandwich, but it tastes really good. So I just got my eye, my eyelashes done. I went all the way to flushing. It was a journey. It was nice. It was really windy though. And I've never had an experience like this where I felt calm, but I was like falling asleep on the chair when she was doing, well, not even a chair, like the bed that she was doing it on. And it was nice, such a nice feeling because like what I said before, I'm not able to just sit still and relax. But it was such a nice experience and it was just very calm. I don't like talking. She doesn't, she didn't like talking. So we didn't talk during the whole thing. And it was like an hour and 10 minutes. And it was really nice. But unfortunately, I don't think my eyelashes looked that noticeable. I kind of wanted like a prominent type of look, but I kind of just got, I just got a lift. She said that I didn't need a tint because I already have really dark eyelashes. And it looks kind of, Eh, to me. That's why it's so hard for me to spend money on myself, especially this, it was like $50. Because if it doesn't work out, it's kind of a waste. But also, the experience was nice. But I must say that now that I have this routine every single day of self-care, so, you know, cooking or just walking outside or just little things, it really has emphasized my productivity and I feel less burnt out. I feel like before I would just keep working and working and I still do that, but now, I have things in my daily schedule that I implement that just make it so much better for me, you know? It's just my form of self-care. Another thing that I was never used to before when I used to live in the suburbs, I used to drive everywhere and take the car everywhere because things weren't nearby and people were, you don't walk in the suburbs. But now that I live in the boroughs, I love walking and everything is nearby and it's so refreshing. If I'm really anxious one day, I would usually just be in bed and it's really hard to get up obviously when you have an anxiety attack or when you're anxious. But sometimes I'll just force myself to get up and go get fresh air and it's so nice. It's such a small subtle thing, but that's my form of self-care. And like another thing, even though obviously I'm not doing it now because I'm talking, but when I'm eating, I like being completely present. I don't like doing any work. I don't like being on my phone or watching anything really. And that just like helps me calm down for a little bit. And usually when you're eating, I think it's just like time for you to just do work and do something absentmindedly because you know you think eating is whatever but for me it's such a sacred time just relax and it's, it's so like underrated so underrated I have a workshop now that I have to attend is three hours it's online which is annoying but I've also been drinking a lot of water. I complained on my Instagram story the other day that my dark circles have been more prominent lately. So I've been um, increasing my intake of water. come drop off my charger that's why I was using my phone for the zoom meeting because I had no charge on my laptop I left it at home literally in that meeting time I cleaned my bathtub I scrubbed all my dishes I replied to some emails I did so much work I've had these packages just sitting in my apartment for the past week and a half I haven't opened it so apparently I spoke to my boyfriend very briefly about things that I've been wanting and things that I'm never gonna get and just how I'm having an identity crisis and I feel like I need to take care of myself for the first time ever. And so literally like the next day on my front step, like he ordered me everything that I wanted. <laughs> All right, so the first thing he got me, apparently he got me the Amazon's best-selling plug for your bathtub. I didn't even know that was a thing. He got me a six pack of bath bombs. That's freaking crazy. I'm not gonna even use six ever in my life, probably. I think I'm gonna go take my first bath ever in years. I have not taken a bath in so freaking long. I don't even know when the last time.
gonna end the night here. I'm gonna just finish reading and do some editing. I feel like today was the first time in a really long time where, or ever, where I didn't feel guilty about doing self-care. And I think it's because I did a combination of productive things and things that I had to do in combination with things that were really relaxing. And it's so crazy that I didn't feel guilty because it's literally ingrained in us to keep working and working and you're not supposed to take a break or you're lazy or you're ungrateful and, and so many bad things, right? I feel like I've matured so much because now I find, I find so much peace in just doing normal adult things and I think that's when, you, when you're actually doing things for yourself like cooking, grocery shopping, doing all that. It was a lot of fun. I'm also really proud of myself. This is my fourth book of the year already, which is crazy because my goal is just to read one book a month and it's like two weeks into January and this is my fourth book. That's wild. I'm trying to do everything I can before school starts again. Also, let me know if you guys want a nighttime routine in my apartment because sometimes I use my projector to play a movie or show on my wall and it's such a nice vibe. Nighttime here is so freaking nice. So let me know if you want to see that because I actually left out a lot of stuff from this vlog because I didn't want to make it too long. Thank you so much for joining me. Follow me on my Instagram, it's labyrinthav. And also mahua.com. A lot of you guys are following me on my personal Instagram. I love when you guys DM me questions and stuff. Check out my website, check out my merch, check out my apparel, labyrinthav.com. I love you. Thank you for a thousand subscribers. Was not expecting that at all. Thank you.